Okay, this is what a 400 kilovolt spark looks like inside the reactor. I think I need to step up the current a little bit to the uh, to sparker uh, to increase the repetition rate but it's pretty impressive it's pretty scary in fact you can also see in this video the connections for the four separate coils the heater coils which will also be wired so as to create the uh, kind of turbulent EM field that I want Yeah, the coil wiring is um, complete, <laughs> at least the first stage of it, and I've uprated the power supply for the sparker. And if you'll excuse the camera shake, I'll turn it on. Here we go, first heat and the sparker reactor. <laughs> this is just heat at the moment, but as you can see, pretty hot. No, th no uh, thermocouple in the circuit, so I'm not sure how hot, but judging from the color, that's eight, 900 degrees at least. I'm going to show you something interesting now. Here's a, here's a setup, the reactor with the, uh, the heaters on and the temperature in there would, is inside the reactor I would estimate is probably somewhere south of 400 centigrade. Uh, the instrument behind it is a Geiger counter which is showing roughly the normal background for the laboratory. Now I'm going to put the arc on a moment. And as you can see, the background stays pretty normal. just got a little puff of smoke then out the high tension generator <laughs> I think I should be careful we'll give it one more short run yeah I think you can see there it's beginning to produce plasma rather than a direct arc We're getting a plasma discharge inside one more run and that's going to be it. Not quite the perfect plasma I hoped for. I had one earlier but it's probably camera shy. Looking for heat internet store? We like to share the knowledge.